Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's Expresso here on SABC3. New York Fashion Week kicks off a month of international fashion shows and offers us a first look at trends for the next season. <clears throat> the past week, the Big Apple got a taste of spring-summer 2015 as every major player in the industry sat up and took note. Our own fashion director, Alexis Chaffee May, has her runway trend report to share with us today. Alexis, how good are Hello, you doing? Very good. Oh, I must tell you, just seeing everything come Coming from New York Fashion Week was so exciting. What were some of the top trends to come out of it? So the top trends, definitely, without a doubt, sports luxe is going nowhere. Wow. And really, I think we shouldn't be talking about this as a fashion trend anymore. Mm. We should be talking about it as a cultural trend. Okay. This is how we are dressing for our era in yep. society right now. And really, you know, building on this trend, we saw a lot of mesh on the runway. We saw yeah. a lot of um, a little bit more high-tech fabric fabrication, which kind of takes the trend to the next level okay. in terms of aesthetic. It makes it a little bit more futuristic. Mm which I suppose we should be expecting to see. And we still saw those classic streetwear pieces. Like yes. here you see the anorak. Yep. We also saw some jumpsuits, uh, bomber jackets, sporty shorts. You know, all those classic pieces you, you would expect in a yeah. sporty wardrobe. Nice. And then building on the trend, we had a lot of pocket detail. Mm -hmm. Anything from streamlined, you know, slim pockets to really that. quite bulky pockets, yeah. also kind of fitted into a utilitarian uniform trend that we also saw running alongside Sports Luxe. Yeah. So there's definitely a bit of a uniform going on for next summer. And then with those basics, we saw what I would call the summer trench. Okay. And a lot of them. These Seriously? very loose, draped, and you wear it. You can see here on the model at Tracy Reese, you know, very much just, you know, casually tied to the side. It's full length, yeah. quite a beautiful piece. And I think it's great for, you know, the in-between spring season where you do still need your coats. I agree, yes. And then also keeping in the sports luxe trend, as you can see here, we now are being introduced to more digital prints. And these for me were just fantastic because they actually look like they're hand-drawn. I love it. Like they're sketched, which is fantastic. It gives a little bit of an artesian quality mm. to what is actually quite an edgy look. So that was a great update in, the, in terms of print. And of course, naturally, you know, it's oh, spring. my favorite. We expect to see some beautiful florals. And I was actually very, I'm not a floral girl yeah. normally, yeah. but I really love the prints that I saw this fashion week because they're really big and bold, big blooms, if you yeah, like. Yeah. I mean, Michael Kors is just absolutely fantastic. Yeah. So that it's a real statement print. Mm -hmm. And again, you're seeing that the matching sets and are I'm, coming through. Exactly. And I'm very happy to see that the crop top's not going anywhere. No, it's nice. not. And it's, again, about that twin set. You've got the top, you've got the skirt, and yeah. it's matching. Cool. And then we saw lots of leafy prints. Now, I mean, this summer we've seen these this tropical, more yeah. tropical prints. And then here we see for next summer, we're seeing, you know, leaf prints still staying, but they're quite, a, they're quite busy and they're quite you know, foresty, if yeah. you like. Yeah. Forest leaf prints. I love it. Um, and then gingham, okay. which, is, um, which is a new one, which is great. It's great to have a new trend to look at because there has been a lot of repetition. Yes, yes. And again, you're seeing it's the matching set. It's the, the check on the check. Mm -hmm. And we saw a lot of black and white gingham as well, but blue for me definitely, like Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz, this was the print. I still <laughs> need to get used to this because I, I'm only used to seeing it as a tablecloth. So no, now well, to no, actually you, You've got to cha it. change your mindset there, girl. <laughs> okay, okay. And then, of course, I mean, we talked about it in Fashion Pack on Friday, but definitely Gorgeous. black and white monochrome stripes, definitely still a key trend. Yeah. And you can see you can mix them with other prints or you can wear them full head to toe print, but definitely your prints aren't going anywhere for probably about the fourth season in a row now, who knows? And um, interestingly, you know, it's nice to see for me a change in silhouette. Yes. And for, th for this season, it looks like the one shoulder is, is bare, is firmly oh. back. It was, I mean, numerous shows. I mean, this is just a select, select look, yeah. really from tops to your long dresses to shorter sporty dresses. Yeah. Definitely that one shoulder look is something that you should be going for. I think it's generally quite flattering on women. Yeah. Um, so I think it'll be one that will definitely, definitely take off in re the retail space as well. I love it. So much to work with when it comes to Fashion. New York Fashion Week certainly was incredibly exciting. Absolutely. Hey? It always is, though, because yeah. it is. It's our first look at what we're going to be seeing for Spring Summer 15. Oh. And now, of course, London, it already kicked off over the yeah. weekend. So I'm already there online. Oh, Wednesday, I'll be here to drop all those <laughs> trends for you guys. Thank you so much. Miss Alexa Chaffee, May, our fashion director, keeping us on the pulse with everything that's happening on the run walk. Um, of course, Ewan, what did you think about that? Amazing, right?